Okay, we're in the middle of the sugya of the Mamzer and the Nisin, the Givoinim, that are not allowed to become in Kal Hashem. So yesterday the Mamzer was an Isser, Isser Olam, as opposed to the Amal and Vomoyev that the females were permitted. There was a, an opinion that a Mamzeris is, a, is a, after 10 generations. We do not pass them like that. Uh, as opposed to a Mitzri, which is allowed after third generation, Mamzer is never allowed in. Okay. There's an Asinim. Who are the Asinim? So guys, a little background over here. There's an Ista. When Moshe came into Eretz Yisrael, there was, uh, they were told, any one of the Zion Umas had, had to be killed. They were, there were three proclamations sent by Yeshua. One, leave. Leave. Two, accept, stay and accept to be in servants. Or three, fight. Those are the three proclamations he sent. One nation, by the way, did take take the Girgashi, left. Girgashi went to say they went to Africa. The Girgashi left. But most of the others one fought. The Bidang Swall came in, they were victorious right away. They they fought in Yericho miraculously. The wall sunk in Yericho. Yericho was destroying the city, and the wall sunk, they were victorious. The Givonim, who were Chivim, they were Chivim, one of the Zion nations was scared. What did they do? They dressed up as if they came from a faraway nation. And they they came, they said they, they want to be gay, they want to they, they want to be gayer. Yeshua was cursed this with them. And then he found out later on they were chivim. So Kadesh Prochu, he goes to kill them. Kadesh Prochu says, don't kill them. He, the shvua you gave is binding. People will say that the shvua, that you break your shvua. So what Yeshua made them was They were hold sakas and vasa shleppers. They were water shleppers and they were, they were, they were wood shoppers for, for the, for the mizbeach. That's, that's, that's what they were. Today we're going to see the whole, exactly what happened to them and why David was geyser on them that, that because of a terrible Misa. I, I've mentioned to you quite a few times the Misa, Misa and we'll see it inside the Gemara. So we're up to Ayn Ches, Ayn Ches, Ayn Ches Lamed Beis, where, I don't know how many lines up, quite a few lines up. I'll give you two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, uh, in that area. Says the Gemara, Nesinim, Amma Rabba Rachana, Barabba, Nesinim, David, Gosra Leim, the Nesinim. Says, if they called the Sinim, because by Yitain, the Lushan the Lushan of Tain, that Yeshua made them, the Gavonim are not from Bnei Yisrael. My time of Gazar Alei, and why was he going on then? They can't come to Kal Hashem. And here's the Maaseh. But by Yerav be made David. There was a Rav. There was a, a famine in the times of David. Shali Shanim. This is at the end of David's reign. At the end. This is after the rebellion of Shalom. It's the end of David's reign. There was what? There was a. There was a famine. There was a famine. What for? For three years. Shana, like, Shana, Shana. The first three said, Shem, Shem, there by this Kechav and Meshpacha. Maybe there's someone who's over there by this are among you. The Chsiv of Artem, Elohim, Acherim, Vishachavis, Olahem, the Otzer, Esser Shemayim, Loyem Atar. So we see as a result of a cause and effect, as a result of a Vaidazara, you could have what? Rain being stopped. So, but good, they checked the Volkai Yisrael, Loy Matsu, They did not find any over there by this are. Shnia, the second year, Amalhem Shema Ivri Avera Yeshbachem, maybe Avera in Yen of Araya, it's Nus, Yechsev, because the Yechsev because it says, by Yimonu Revivim Umalkash, Revivim Umalkash are our synonyms to what for for rain, by Yimonu they were held back, Loi, Hoya Umetzach Isha Zoyna Hoya Loch, May Anti Kale, Metzach of Isha Zoyna, Lashna of Nus. So maybe that's the reason why Yimonu Revivim. Maybe that's the reason the rain was held back. They checked the all Eretz Yisrael, and they did not find anybody. Shlishis, in the third year, maybe you have somebody who had offered to give Tzedakah Barabim. They ain't nice them, and they didn't give. The Pusik, the, the Pusik says, Nesim Veruach, Nesim is Lashon of Clouds. Veruach, Vigeshem, Oyen, a person mishal is taking praise in a donation of sheker, meaning he called it out, but he didn't give it. So 
says the Gemara, but Matsu, they checked. No, everyone, any pledge that a person made, it was kept. So said David, it must be totally something in me, in Malchus. It must be something totally be a Malchus. And therefore, miyad vayivakesh David as Pnei Hashem. David went ahead and asked Pnei Hashem, Maihi, what do you mean he asked Pnei Hashem? Amresh Lakish, Sheshol Be'urim V'tumim. He asked the Urim V'tumim. The Urim V'tumim was a piece of parchment that was placed between the, the ephod, the folds of the of the, the Koshen and the ephod. And we, we saw in the Sech Yuma exactly how, it would, whether it would light up the letters or they would come down the letters. Machlokish Reish Lakish Rabbi Yechanan. And he asked the Urim V'tumim. The only people who can ask the Umar Tumim are the Melech, uh, the Mishat Shibat Sarich, and maybe the Rosh Hedron. I'm not sure, but I know the Melech can ask. So he told him, once he ascertained that all these, it, it wasn't right anything to do with Klai Yisrael, so it must be something to do with the Malchus. As a result, then and only then could he ask the Umar Tumim. Stam to ask the Umar Tumim like this, you can't. But he asked, that's the way the Marshall and Pshat. My mashma, how does the mashma that David is Pnei Hashem? How do you know it's the Urim B'tomim? So I'm Rebbe Loz, ask you Pnei Pnei. We have a Gzeir Shava Pnei Pnei. Ksiv Hacha, but Yavaki Shava is Pnei Hashem. Ksiv Hasam, but Ushal Loi Mishpar Urim Lufnei Hashem. So it says the Fnei, so it's an identifying that Lufnei means what? Means Urim B'tomim. Now, what was the answer? By Yom Hashem El Shol. Now he's not speaking to Shol. Shol is dead many years. He's speaking Al Shol. The Albeis Hadamim regarding Shol and the house of blood. Al Shehemis Hagivoynim that he killed the Givoynim. El Shol, what, what's the what's the Aver of Shol? Shloi Nispa Kil Kalacha. You did not give him a Hesp that's correctly. They, if you look in in in, in Shmuel, in in fact he did. They were Masped. They were Masped, but they were Masped for a whole week. They were only Masped for a day. So it wasn't it wasn't kill. It doesn't say we give him a Hesp. They had a hesped, guys, but it wasn't kalacha. It wasn't the right way. It wasn't the right way for a king. Where did you find Shal killing the Gevoinim? Well, let me talk what happened, guys, background. David's on the run. He is starving. He comes to Novir Kahanim. Achimelech is the Mel, is, is the Kren Gadol. David asked him, he says, what's underneath your hand? He says, it's, it's, a, it's a, what was it? The left him upon him from the, from the Shulchan. David said, I'm starving, I could eat it. I'm mean, saying, Doig is there davening, and Doig sees him feed David. David is the is Mary Malchus to Shaul. As a result, Doig goes ahead and he testifies to Shaul about what Achimach did. And as a result, Shaul tells Doig to wipe out the city, and Doig wipes out Novi Kahanam, kills the Kahanam there. Now, who were being supported by the Kahanim? Going back to Yeshua's time, the Gevoinim. If there's no Kahanim, no, no Vir Kahanim, they didn't have any support. So that's considered tantamount lot. Since he killed no Vir Kahanim, who would go ahead and provide water and, 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 and sustenance for the for the Gevoinim. Malav Akasa, the Torah considers it Kilu Hargu as if you killed him. Now, it's so Katava El Shol, Shlai Nisbid Kehalacha, the Katava El Shehim, it says Gevoinim. You're playing both sides of the defense with Shol. You tell me, what, you know what? You know why there's a famine? You didn't go ahead and weren't Masked Shol correctly. Why is there a famine? Because Shol did this wrong thing. Like, how, how do you, it's like the negative and the positive back at the same time, simultaneously. Says the Gemara, in that's incorrect. That's what you do. Do don reish lakish my dechsev bakshu Hashem. The lashon of the pasuk bakshu es Hashem kol anve haaretz Hashem ishpatoi paaloi. What does that mean? So when Hashem is bakshu kol anve haaretz, when he's checking out what? When he's checking out the humble people of the land, mishpatoi paaloi. When you have fulfilled his laws, then by Hashem ishpatoi. When there's a mishpat. Sham Palai, you speak about his Pula, you speak about his Tzitkis. So therefore, when a person is being called to Din, conversely, at the same time he's being called to Din, we're going to say the, the positives also. We're going to say the positives. So you show that the, the, the negative is that he killed the Irkahan, and the positive was that look how great he was, that you can't possibly fathom how great he was. I mean, the, the Medrash says, with the Gemara in Yuma, that Shol was in the same Chelek of Elam Habe as Shmuel. 
he's in very high places, and, and this is the person that you weren't going ahead masked correctly. So this is, the, you know, you're giving us a, a tremendous, tremendous uh, concept from Kodesh Baruch Hu, Bishas the Maisa, Bishas, he goes ahead and is, and is, is, is uh, judging the person, conversely, at the same time you have the positives coming, which would make a little sense, I guess. You have the Mekatrigim saying one thing, you have the, the Katega the, and Sanega saying the other thing, so it would be, it would be synonymous. Amad David, Shol Nafgaluhu, Amad Aleph, Tracy Yachisha. So Shol's already gone 12 months. Says Rashi, Lav Dafka, not 12 months. The Kor of Latil Sashanim, it's more than, it's, it's close to 30 years. Man, Shari Soif Shanaisim Shal David Haya, at the end of David's life. David ruled in, for, for, he lived for 70 years. Elafisha ain't Derek covered list by Achi Yebes Chodesh. It's not Derek covered to Maspiri after 12 months. So now, in other words, when it says over here, it's after 12 months, not after 12 months that he died. It's after, well, after 12 months that to give him a hesped. But really, he's dead much longer. Okay. However, so in other words, there's nothing I can do about Shal. That, that he wasn't masked correctly, there's no backseat. There's no going back. However, I'll call the Nesinim, I'll call the Gavainim, I'll call them, I'll appease them. They're, they're, they have a taina in Shemayim. Their taina is being held very strongly. as Hamis is like divine him. It was what was done, guys. There was there was a shvua made to them by Yeshua, and the mela by them not being taken care of. Yimachal shvua that's tantamount achil Hashem. The shvua is made with the Shem Hashem. It's a really 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 severe avera. It's a really severe avera. So now, by Yikra Melch le Gavoyim, him. Was there was a role. Yeah. What can I do for you? And how I can be machapa that we should have a bracha now of rain and food in the in the Kodesh Baruch Hu's inheritance. Listen to this. These guys were poor. They didn't have food. They were they were mamish avodim. They were mamish the lowest of the low. <laughs> Who's speaking to them? The king. David could give him literally a king's ransom. Right? They, they'd win the lottery. They'd win the lottery. By Yoimala Givoinim, Ain Lanu Kesef is of. We don't want money. No silver, no gold. Imshol, Vim Besoy. Vain Lanu Ish. Yutam, what we want is Yutam Lanu Shiva and Nashmi Banav. Give us seven of his descendants. Vihu Kanam Lashem. And we'll, we'll hang them. Fashem. Mephias. We have a whole Gemara. You, you have an art scroll, you read. You read. Mephias, Vele Paisinu, right? So he appeased them and they weren't appeased. No matter what David tried, they wanted blood. They wanted blood. Omar, Shloisha Shimonim Yesh Pumazu. There are three Simonim in this Uma, in Kla Yisrael. Harachmonim, Vahabaishonim, Vagomle Chasodim. We're merciful. We're Baishonim. We are Gomle Chasodim. Rachim dechsev v'nasan l'cha rachim v'yirchamcha v'yirbecha v'yishan dechsev b'avortia yerasay al penechem going mechasad dechsev v'ramavinu l'man asher tzav es manav es beis of acharav kol sheyesh by shloisha simanim alolu anyone who has these three simanim roi li davik v'umazu the roi to cling to this nation if you have these these simanim rachmanim v'yishanim. You can be part of Kla Yisrael. The Melech takes two sons of Ritzba Basaya, that was Shol's wife. The Toysis discusses which Mephibosheth is this. The five sons of Michal Bashol. Michal died in childbirth. These are Meirav. He had a child, Meirav. This Ritzba, I think, was his Pelegesh. Meirav was, was his wife. Meirav was, was his oldest daughter, was the oldest daughter. No, it could be Ritzba was his wife. I don't remember. But Michal was certainly his daughter. Meirav was his daughter. Meirav was supposed to be given to David in marriage. She was given to someone named Adriel. So now, for five sons of Michal, Bashol, Asher Yodol Adriel ben Barzilai, Hamukulasi. Now, why these seven? Maishnahani, why were these seven chosen? Amrav Huna Havirum Fne Arin, they brought him in front of the Arin, Kol Sha'arin Kaltai Lemisa. 
Anyone that the Oren would be coiled, would stop in his tracks, would die. Kol Shein Oren Kolta, but anyone that the Oren would let go by, L'chaim would live. There's another Gersa in the Yushalmi that the, they pierced them by the Mizbeach. Anyone who was coiled by the Mizbeach would live. The Mizbeach is a sign of life, right? He says that, that the Yoav went and jumped on the Mizbeach, right? He wanted his, it, it saves. Mashiach came to Oren, we know, of course, death all the time. The, the Kain God will die because of the Gadusha, the Oren. So it depends on which way you called by the orange death, you call it by, by the by the Mizbeach, it's life. Nice, nice, nice contrast. Okay. So now, so Masiv Rav Khana Bar Katina, Vayachmula Melech Amifiboshes Ben Yohanesan. Again, he was this lame person that in Yohanesan was David's best friend, and he had Rahmanas on him. Shalay have you? He says, How can he not pass in front of the orange? Okay, can you show favoritism? El Shaviru Vikaltu. He passed him by and he got stuck. Upikish Lavrachim and he dived in Upalto and he escaped. Try to worry about Kati Masipan Yesh Padava. In other words, you need seven, correct? If this guy was stuck and you're getting him off the hook, you're going to put another one in his place, right? So the Lachari might, it's my Sipanim. That's how Rashi learns. Hello, Shambike Shrachim Shloye Katenu Arin. He dived in that the Arin should not go ahead. He wasn't stuck. He dived in that the Arin shouldn't stick. But Kasibla Yemusa of Salbanim, why they die? On Rabchia Baraba, on Rabbi Yechnon. Better to be oiker like one ois in the Torah rather than what that shem shemayim shem mischal befehesya. So we're we're being oiker lav dafka an ois. We're being a, a, a pasuk. We're being oiker a whole pasuk of lo yomus avis al banim in order to go ahead and that there shouldn't be a chil Hashem. What did the chil Hashem be? The Jews swore to this nation, and here they are. They go going back on the shvur. So that would be. So there, there are mefarshim. The Pasuk really says, guys, listen to the whole Pasuk. It says, La Yemusu Avas Al Banim, Uban La Yemusu Al Avais, Ish Becheta Yemusu. Ish a man, Becheta, with his sin, Yemusu. They were Oiker and Ois. They were Oiker and Ois of Vav in Becheta. Ish Bechet Yemusu. All these people who were who, who stuck, they were Machayv Misa. Megalgan Schosa Al Yudei Zakai, Bechayv Al Yudei Chayim. These seven people, they were Bali Avera. Obviously, the, the only Kaddish Baruch would know that because it wasn't Nigla. So the beautiful Peshat over here, the Ois Achas you're taking out is the Vav. And the Yemusu Bechet, they're dying right in, in the Chet. It's a very nice Peshat. Right. If, if, only, if you, only if you copy, only if you copy, only if you copy. But the Chayr, they didn't. And their father was a Tzadik. The Shol was a Tzadik. Okay, so now. Batikach Ritzvah Vasaya, Ritzvah Vasaya, it's a sack. She took a sackcloth, but he tayu lo al atzur, and they they hung up the seven seven bodies, and they were hanging there al atzur by the rock. Mitchilas kitzir from the beginning of the cutting, ad nasan mayim aleim and anitach mayim aleim. Mamas they were up there for six months. Min shemayim, loy nas loyfer shemayim lo nuach aleim. She did not allow any bird of prey to come descend upon them. Yomam v'chayis asad alayla. She mamish. Okay. Friday morning, sib loy solm v'los al eitz. You have Bezin, when Bezin executes somebody, you're not allowed to leave him hanging around. Mm-hmm. The people who are passing by, they would come and say, what's the, what's the nature of these? So they would say, Hello, these are princes. They're descendants of Shol, the Melech. What did they do that, what, that, they, were, that they were punished like this? They send their hands out of what? Un- unacceptable Gerim. They, they, they were pushed in, in the Gerim Gerim. Gerim means they were unacceptable, the, the, the Gevainim. Amru, ein lecha uma shiruya lidavik bakizu. There's no nation that was right to be davik like, like, like the Jews. Uma b'nei malachim kach. If this is the way they treat the, 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 the rat, a prince, kach meneyot, and yot is alachas kama v'kama. It says, Gemaru. They, they, they um, turned into a Kiddush Hashem? Yes, yes. Umagim Gurum Kach Yisrael Alachas Kama Vakama Miyad the Toysval Yisrael Meir Vachemish Shemel of 150,000 Gerim. 150,000 Gerim Shnemar. Vayihilish Shlomo, according to Shlomo, the Pasuk says, Vayihilish Shlomo. Shivim Elef Noisei Sabal Ushmoina Elef Choytsei Bahar. Quite safe, but Bahar. <clears throat> so you have these 150,000. These are workers. They were, they were, no, say Sabal, they were, they were carrying burdens and 80,000 that were, were banging in the mountain. I guess this is the builder based on Migdash. 
Maybe they were Jews hanging out of a gay room. So most like a daif of the sieve. It says when Bnei Yisrael and less than Shlema of it. Bnei Yisrael did not get a, get a, get get work. It says when Bdilma daigzer. Maybe the hired workers Balma. So that's not a good raya. Elam yachacha. By Sapa Shlema kol anoshim a gay a garment shabbat Yisrael. Count all the people. By Yimsu meiva chemisha melef. Right. He found found an additional one hundred fifty thousand. By Yapsam him shiv melef sabo lushmeinu melef by sevar. Okay. So now. So this is lechayra. So this is the story. Now, big question over here is they weren't a Kabbal Gerim, but made Shlaim of May David. Yeah. We, we just had the Gemara. We weren't a Kabbal Gerim, but made Shlaim of May David. So the Rifa gives two truths. And one Teretz, he says, is that a Bezden a bez of, of Mumchen did not go ahead and accept, but Bezden of Hedyotis did. Or a, a, be, a Pshat that I like better, why didn't they accept? Because they thought maybe they were, they were Megaya because of, we were in first place. Things were good for the Jews. Things were good for David, you know, they were scared of David, Shlomo, things were good by Shlomo. But over here, why did they mean Megaya? For the right reasons. They mean Megaya for the right reasons. Such a Gerim you would accept, right? These, these are Gerim, these are accept, acceptable Gerim. <clears throat> so we have this Gemara, guys. So, so we, have, so we, have, we have this Gemara, and this Gemara is, is David was guys on these people. Why? Because they were not Rachmanim by Shanim Megayim Lechasadim. Anyone who has those midas is Roy Ledovek Bumizu. Anyone who doesn't have the midas is not Roy Ledovek Bumizu. Okay, so what exactly, what, how does this, how does this work about? When, when do we accept Garen, when do you not accept Garen? So if you have your phones, I did send you something, a medrash. I sent you a medrash. This is the Medrash is in Nasai, Perik Ches, uh, Sif Hay. So he, it basically quotes Agamara, the same type of thing. So it says, for example, where I am in the middle, it says, Breshi is Ches Yates. The man is Shavez, Bonavez, basically, Uksiv, Vishomes, El Kecha, Lechoyas, Abris, right? That's a Chesed. The Elu, Aim Behem, Echad Meela. They don't have any of these. Miyad Omar Varicha come. Stood up and he was Marachi to Gavoinim. Hadu Dechsev, that's what it says in Shmuel, Shmuel Beis. The Hagivoinim, Loi Bibne Israel Hema. Ain Roy Elulis Oret Imohem. Afal Pishay Gerim Hain, Loi Omdu Avoiseim Al Harsinai. Since what? They, even though they Gerim, Loi Omdu Avoiseim Al Harsinai. They didn't stand on Harsinai. Agamur doesn't say anything about Sinai. He just says the Gavoinim loy b'nei Yisrael. That's all it says. But it doesn't say anything about being on Harsinai. What's the connection between the two? So I, I suggested once, and I think it's true. I think I, I have enough proof to say it's true. To be a ger, you had to be by Harsinai. To be a ger, you had to be by Harsinai. If you weren't there, you, you could not. You, you cannot. You could have all the love for Jews in the world. Antoninus loved Rebbe. Antoninus asked, asked Rebbe, do I have a share in the next world? Antoninus, become a Gary. You'll have a share in the next world. Elowat, he couldn't be. The Givoinim were Gerim. But they were Gerim that did not stand by Harsinai. And if you didn't stand by Harsinai, you couldn't be what? You couldn't be a Gerim. Now, now, listen, I, I spoke about this, but I, today, Hashem, in the middle of Shmon Esrei, put something in my head. Listen to this connection, guys. Listen to the connection between Anu Baishon and Rahman Bagom the Hassan of the In other words, if you want to be Megaya, but you don't have certain Midas, you couldn't be there. Why? Says the Medrash, because you weren't by Hasinai. Says the Gemara in Shabbos, this is a Kuf Mem Vav Ahmed Aleph, 146. Why are they Muhammad? Why are they Musuhamim? Why are they literally disgusting? Meaning. Why do they have certain midas that are just, it's a pagam? Because they didn't stand by Harsinai. When the Nachash was with Chava, the Nachash had a taiva for Chava. The Nachash lived with Chava and placed in Chava Zuhama, placed literally this, this spiritual disgust. Hitl ba Zuhama. Yisrael sh'amdu al Harsinai paska zumasan. Yisrael that stood on Hasinai, the Zuhama stopped. The Goyim that did not stand on Hasinai, 
It didn't stop. So I think quite beautifully. That's what Pshat and Nedrash is. Since they weren't by Arsinai, the Gavainim, they kill, still have the Suhama from Chava, the Midas from Suhava. You know, the Gemara says over there, it continues, the way we got cleansed is, one opinion is Harsinai, a second opinion is the Avais. Avram had a Yishmoel, that took out part of our Zahama. Yitzhak had an Esav, that took out the other part. Yaakov, by Yishtach of Yisrael Aroi Shamita, Shalish Shalema, all his children were Sadiqim. That was the Raya that, the, that, that they purified, the Zera of Yisrael is purified. That's why Yosef's not an Av, that's why Yehuda's not an Av. So I think, guys, it's really Masa Kedvash. You need both Stadim. We were already cleansed from the Zuhama as results of the others. But a Gerd who does not come from what? The Avais. Who doesn't come from Avram Yitzhak and Yaakov. Where was he going to get cleansed by? Where was he going to get rid of the Zuhama? Where was he going to get rid of the Midas? Where was he going to go ahead and be Makabal the Midas on the by Shan Rahman of Chasadim? You had to be by Harsinai. And that's shot in the Medrash that we just saw. These Gary, Nav, Lav, and Yisrael. And the Medrash says, Nav, and Yisrael. And you know why? Because they didn't go ahead and stay by Harsinai. Who is by Harsinai? Every, or every Mazel, every Ger who's Mazel. It's really different. It's very, very different. The, the Jews, the Shama comes from a certain chamber in Shemayim. That's, that's called Guf. The Goy ne- doesn't necessarily come from there. So therefore, it had to be their Mazel, their Malach had to stand there. So it, it gives us a little overview of the difference between, you know, in other words, it, the Jew, because well, by Shon and Rahman and Rahman is and is a beautiful quality, but it's, we suffer from this quality of the liberal Jews, the liberal Jews have, who have brought down so many different things to the world that's so negative, is because of that, of that love, the love for people, the love that all people are created equal. But I'm saying it's so interesting that this quality that we have can be used in a very positive way or to our detriment in a, in a very derogatory way. You know, it just, it just it's, it's amazing. It really, it really is amazing. It's, it, it's, it, no, but it's an amazing thing. But it gives us, a, I think, the Gemara and Shabbos with the Medrash gives us a, a beautiful understanding of why the Gavoinim, why they were different. Since the Gavoinim did not have the, they were, they, the Achzarius, they were offered a king's ransom. All they wanted was blood. All they wanted was to kill. That's not a Jewish quality. That's not a Jewish quality. I always, I always say over the story uh, between the, the blue Shavu Reva. The, the blue, they saw a story with the, with they, 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 when, you, when you go out and go up to the left, there's, there's a story with the, with the blue Shavu Reva. He was in a camp and there was this, the German was hitting him and hitting him. And, and he was hitting him and saying, you still believe you're the Amman Nifcher? You still you believe you're the chosen people? You still believe the chosen people? And he turned to him and said, as long as you're the one hitting, yes. And, and that, that's the quality. That, that's, the, that's the quality you speak about. You know, I always, I always say in school, I, I say, by the Akedah, the girls can't possibly understand how Avram could bring, bring Yitzchak to carbon. I said, you're not supposed to understand. Sarah couldn't understand it either. Sarah couldn't understand it either. But the, that same feeling that you have of everyone's created equal, the same liberal leanings you have, that same Hashem is, tells you, he's the one who gave you those feelings. He's the same Hashem. In other words, the, uh, uh, the gaze, people, gays, you hear it enough. You think it's, 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 it's okay. It's, you know, the same Hashem who gave you those feelings that it's okay because any person should be able to do whatever they want to do is the same Hashem who tells you that's a tayeva. You can't play both sides of the fence. Hashem gave you that by, by Shon and Rahman and Magomel Chasadim is, is, is a good thing, but not used when it's used in, in, in a way that's connected to Torah. That, that's, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Mm-hmm. So David was guys around these people. You just got the whole background. This is why they couldn't part of Kali Yisrael. They, were, they wanted to be, guess what? They're achzorim. They're, the Gemara tells us, if you see a Yid, a Jew, a Jew, a Jew, that is an achzor, check his lineage. He may not be Jewish. If you see a, a Jew who's very cool, check his lineage. He may not be Jewish. Okay, says the Gemara. Fred the Gemara Kasha. Vinesinim, four lines to the bottom. Vinesinim, Dovah Geyser Aleim. Vinesinim, was David the one who was Geyser on them? 
Moshe goes all in the Chsiv, may Chaitve, et Secha, at Shaive, may Mecha. So it's going to Moshe goes all who did Dora. Moshe was going for that generation. David goes all the Kuli Dora for all, all of eternity. Fred Mar Vakati, Shua goes all in. Shua was going to the Chsiv, by Yit name Yeshua. That's where they get in the scene from, for the Shirish of the Yit name. By Yit name Yeshua, by Yamahu, Chaitve, et Shaive, Mayim, Leeda, Ulm is Beach. They were made water slappers and woodcutters for the Eid, and Ms. Beach, Ulm is Beach Hashem. So as well, Yeshua goes to the Hemisha base at Midish Kayim. David goes to the Bizarre Shavit Kayim. David was Yeshua was going to not Lab Dafka base at Midish, but Gilgal and 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 right on the base. And and David was going to what I feel is like base at Midish. The May Rebbe Big Shula Hat in a scene. In the days of Rebbe, they wanted a Mat in a scene. Now, this is not possible. Ain Bezdin, no Bezdin can override a Bezdin unless it's bigger than Chacham Beminion. Yeah. Be may Rebbe, you know, I don't know how great Rebbe was. He wasn't bigger than the best in the David. So he couldn't overdo his Gezerah. Rashi answers the question. Look what Rashi says, guys. Says Rashi, what do you mean? Wanted to go ahead and matter? The Kaimel on Hefker Bezdin Haya Hefker. In other words, there is a Chalik, we own the Gavonim. There, there are servants, there are the servants, then there's Beach. So it's not what we're saying, we're overriding saying the decree is not in, in, in mm-hmm. vogue. We're right. saying we're Mafkar Achelik, the din of Hefker, Hefker, Bezin, Hefker, right? Says the Gemara, Amalhem Rebbe Chalkenu not there, but Chalik Mizbech me out there. How could you do that? You can't, you can't take off, you can't go off the Chalik and Mizbech. Says, no, Pligid Rav Chiyabar Abba, Dom Rav Chiyabar Abba, Amr Rav Yechanan, Chalik Eidel Oilam Asr, Chalik Mizbech, Bismar Shabbos and Midish Chaim Asr, Aim Bismar Midish Rebbe and Chaim Shabbos. So with May Rebbe, they could have gone ahead. According to Reb Kiyah yeah. and, and and taken off the Nasinim. Again, we don't know the Nasinim anymore. Anymore, they're, they're mixed up. We don't know anybody anymore. They knew by Rebbe, right? yeah. but by Rebbe they knew, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Anyway, uh, the, the, we're, guys, we're back to your mummies. <laughs> we're, back, we're we're back in the saddle. Okay, we're we're, we're back in, in the saddle. Okay, a Saris. It's a person, it literally is a person that is a, a Saris. He's, he's, he's unable to have children. He's, and for all intents and purposes, he, he's a Pesuadaka in the worst way. He's a Pesuadaka in the worst way. He doesn't have any, any Beitzah. So I'm sure. Shamati, I heard the following contradiction. I heard Shasaris Chalitz. A Saris can do Chalitza. A Saris can do Chalitza. The Cholzin Leishtoi. And you can do Chalitza to his wife. In other words, if his brother dies, he can give her chalitza. And if he dies, then the brothers can do chalitza to his wife. What? How is he married? Oh, okay. And the Saritz, he can't do chalitza. In other words, contradictory statements. He just, he just he said the same. The only the father says, be sure, I have no clue how to explain when Omra Bakiva, Ania Farish, Sris Adam. A person who it, it happened be they Adam Chaylitz, he can you can he can do chalitza the chalitz on the ishtai. Do you know why? Before he became a saris, that's the answer to your question. Before he became a saris, he was in the ballpark. So since he was in the ballpark, he can go ahead and do chalitza. The gemara is going to if he's in the ballpark, why can't he do yibum? So if he's in, in the ballpark, he can go ahead right in, and do chalitza, and you could do chalitza with his wife. Sris chama. Someone who was born a Saris. Chama means son, meaning the, the son never saw, he never saw the son in a natural state. So Chama, loy chaylitz, loy chaylitz, and lishtai. Nefmesh loy yisash akaysha. That's, that's Rebbe, Rebbe, Rebbe Akiva. So guys, Rebbe Akiva, Adam is a go, Adam is chaylitz, Chama, bide, bishamayim, no. Rebbe Eliezer says the opposite. Rebbe Eliezer, oimer, loy kiel, Swiss Chama chaylitz, loy chaylitz, and lishtai. Swiss Chama, you can do, he can do chalitza, and you can do chalitza to his wife, because he, it's curable. Swiss Adam, that was Bidei Adam, so he says the exact opposite word of, of Rebbe, Rebbe Yerikiv, exact opposite of Rebbe Yerikiv, exact opposite. Hey Rebbe Yeshua ben Mesera, Al ben Megusas, that was his name, Shahayim be Yushalayim, Sris Adam. He was a Sris Adam. The Yib Mayas Ishtai. And after he died, they did Yibim to his wife. Lakayim Divrei Rabbi Akiva to fill the words of Rabbi Akiva. So you see that what? They did that they did Yibim. In other words, Rabbi, he said Chalitza. He's saying Yibim. We're going to see a Dik in the Gemara, right? We, we switched from Chalitza to Yibim. Ah. 
Now, new din, I mean, this new, new, new statement, new clause. Hasaris chama, this is sris chama. Loi choilitz v'lemi yabim. You can't do chalitza, you can't do yibim. Chein islandess, a woman who is proven to be an islandess. Loi choilitz, there's no need to do chalitza, v'loi misyabemes, nor do yibim. Hasaris shecholitz v'yibim toi. Hasaris chama that gave chalitza. Loi pasla, it doesn't pasla to kuna. Chalitza is not a chalitza, so she, won't be, the, she would not be a chalitza. Right? And therefore, she'd be able to marry a coin. However, Baala Pasla. If you be boil her, that would make her Pasla. Why? Because if you boil Ashes Ach, she'll be like a mitzvah. Since it, no, there's no din of a Yibam, so therefore, if he's living with his, his, his uh, brother's wife, that's a Chiv Karis. Okay, uh, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not dealing with that. If Nei Shehi, I thought of it, and I'm not dealing with it. If Nei Shehi, be less than us. Right? Less, I could answer you. Like, like in the past, we haven't said anything that that's not a problem I'm listening to, right? You have to nothing, nothing, <laughs> not, 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 nothing I said is it's all rated G, right? The ladies of the party, the ladies of the party, no, no, lady, no, no ladies in the car when we we're discussing Chris Shafcha. Oh, god, yeah, anyway, how'd your wife react? Oh, you were Baruch Hashem, she didn't hear. <laughs> Thank you, Asha. <laughs> I don't say wine with not, but you, thank you, Asha. Okay, anyway. He kept on looking over like this. He kept on going like this. Yeah. Right. Okay, so now, so the, if he's a Swiss, if he's a Swiss Adam, then the, there's no Chalitza, there's no Yibum. And by an island, it's the same thing. should be less nus. The island is Shechotzula Achen, Loi Paslua. She would not be right a, a, a Chalitza. How of a, a, a Bula. Paslu and they should be less and be less. So the boil hard, the beer would be a, a be less nus. Okay, so that's that's the that's the Mishnah. Now, Rabbi Akiva said that uh, a Sris, he he can do chalitza, and you hold if it's a Sris Sris Adam, he could do chalitza, and you could do chalitza to his wife. Michti, Shaminul Rabbi Akiva, the Amar Chayve Lavim Chayve Krisis. Guys, we had throughout this Masechta one thing you should remember. The Rebbe Kiva holds Kedushin is not typist by Chayvei Lavin. Rebbe Kiva said in the Mishnah on Memtes that Mamzeris comes from Chayvei Lavin, right? right? So now, listen to what's happening. You have a, <clears throat> a brother with, a, bro- with a, a, a man whose brother is a Saris. The man is married, consequently dies. Is it that Saris is a Pitsuadaka? He can't marry that woman. It's us to him like a Chayvei Karis. So how could he do chalitza? She never fell in front of him. It doesn't work. It's an erva. It doesn't work, according to Rabbi Kiva. Michdi, shamil Rabbi Kiva, namal chayvei lav, chayvei krisis, dami. The chayvei krisis lav b'nei chalitza v'yivam ninu. So how could a sris adam do chalitza? The first thing. You explained the difference between a sris adam and a sris chama, and you said sris adam, like Rabbi Kiva, chalitz b'chalitz l'ishtay. How could he do chalitza? She is not falling in front of him. He's Chayvei Lavim. Rabbi Kiva says Chayvei Lavim are out of the ballpark. Three Turutsam. Am Ravami, Hochem Ayaskinon, Gen Shenasa Achiv Giyoyris. His brother married a Giyoyris. Rabbi Kiva Savala Kreb Yaisi, the Amar, Kahal Geirim La Yikri Kahal. La Yavay Pitsua Daka, the Kushavcha, Bikal Hashem. That's the Pasik. If this is a Ger, and a Ger is not considered Kahal, so you don't have, it's not Chayvei Lavim. Memele, he could do Chalitza. He can do no problem. Chayvei lavim is what? When there's an Issa. This is not a kahal. This is not a kahal. Lakeri kahal. Therefore, you can do it. Fred Gemari Hachi Yivumi Nami Miyabein. So why can't he do Yibum? Why only Chalitza? Why can't he do Yibum? Ain't says Gemara. Ain't Achinami. He could. Ha'aydi Dom Rabbi Yeshua Chaylitz Ama Iu Nami Chaylitz. Guys, look at the Mishnah. Look at the Mishnah. Let's go to the Mishnah. Om Rabbi Yeshua Shemati Shasris Chaylitz V'Chaltzin. So what is Rabbi Yeshua addressing, guys? Chaylitz. So Rabbi Akiva, when he came to explain, he explained the Lushin of Rabbi Yeshua, which was Chalitza. But in fact, the halacha would be, you can even do Yibam. What's the Raya? Continue the Mishnah. Hey, it. Go, go down. Hey, Rabbi Yeshua ben Beseira, al ben Mutkus Ashoi Vishalayim, Sris, Adam, Viyib Mayas Ishtoi. You see Yibam. So you, says the Gemara back by us, Dekinami, it's Meduik as well. That you could do yibum, diktani, because it's said on Mishnah. Hey, Rabbi Shuv and Maseira, I've been begusa shahaya. You shall I am Saris Adam, the yibmayas ishtai, the kind of Rabbi Akiva, 
Shmamino, like Rabbi Akiva, since it's speaking about a Giyaris, it's not a Kahal, there's no Chayve Ladim. Once there's no Chayve Ladim, you can not only do Chalitza, you can even do Yibam. Masif Rabba, Rabba is going to destroy this terrace. Bitsu Daka Vakrushavcha, good. Swiss Adam, that's what we need. Vazakain, all these people have in common, they can't have a children, guys. Vazakain, Oi Chayotzin, Oi Miyabmin. They can either do Chalitza or Yibam. Ketzad. Mesu, if they die, Vilehem Nashim, Ulehem Achim, Vilomdu Achim, Vasu Maimer, brother stands up and does Maimer, Vinisha Sehem, Vinasnu get, or they give a get. Guys, what would Maimer do? Let's go back to Yevamis. What would Maimer do? Maimer would do that. You would need, need yeah. besides Chalitza, you need a get. What would a get do? It would stop you from doing Yibam, Kimin Shlai Bana Shuvla Yibna. Right, we have to go back. Right, it would stop you since you had the chance. You gave regret with Aser, Oisha Chaltsu, or you gave Chalitza, Masha Asu Asu. Whatever they did, they did. And meaning, you you need a get for the Maimer. You would not be able to Yibo man and the Chalitza. Vim Bolu Kanu. If you if they boil the wife of the Swiss again, he died. Then what? Then the Kaina. However, Mesu, if he dies, Mesu Achin, if the brothers die. And now it's falling to him, and he's a Swiss Adam. And like Rabbi Akiva, sit in the according to the Teresa Ravami, it should be speaking about what? A Giyoris that's not called Kahal. And now, when you see the last din, that what that he has to divorce her is of course it's what <coughs> he's a suadaka who's married to what a married to kahal married to kahal. So lechayra, you see, it's not you can't speak about it. You can't be saying it's speaking about a gyaris. Okay, Ella Amarav Amaraba. When he when they fell, there wasn't chayve lavim. He wasn't a saris, and he became a saris afterwards. Right when they fell, so since when he fell, watch the kasha, guys. White Rabbi Akiva chayve lavim chayve krisos, and if the brother is dying and it's falling to a saris, how could he do chalitza? It's, it doesn't work. It's, it's it doesn't. It's not chal. No chiyev. It's not rami lekame. It's not falling upon him. Says the Gemara. When he died, he was okay. The accident that made him a sris took place afterwards. So Manela, he could do chalitza. Okay. Amalei Abaya. Okay. Let's let me give you uh, outside. Come on outside, guys. A man. Two men are married to. A man marries a girl. She's a katana. A man marries a girl. She's a katana. Yes. And then his brother marries the sister of the katana. And so, so you have Ruven and Shimon. Ruven's married to, to Ruven's married to, to Leah, and Shimon is married to Rachel, who's a katana. Ruven dies, falling in front of Shimon. Now what is is what is is Achaz So, so one opinion is we have Shimon do Mimer to what to Mion. Shimon to do Mion to refuse the marriage to Rachel, thus freeing up Shimon to do Yibum to Leah. Says Rabbi Akiva, there's another opinion. You know what you do? You wait until Rachel gets older, and Mimela, the wife, will be Asaras Achas Ishtai. So you see that the status quo comes and pushes off the din of Yibum. Fred the Gemara, if, if he was a kosher guy and then it came to Suadaka, why don't we just why, let the Suadaka force off the din of Yibam? Says the Gemara. Amalei Abaya, on this terrace that you're giving, that the Besoif, that in the, he was healthy and then it became, became a, a Sris. The Lese Isser Betsue, come along the Isser Betsue, the Nitcha say the Yibam, and push away the Asei Yibam. In other words, there should be no din of Chalitza. Why? Because he's a Suadaka. Me like Tanan, Rabbi Gamliel Loimer, in me and me and if he if she refuses the marriage, Rachel, then she refuses the marriage. The Imlav, and she doesn't. Tamtim, let's wait. At Shetagdel till Rachel gets older. 
v'teitzei halizu, and then Leo will go out mishamachas isha. Alma, what do we see? Asi iser achas isha v'dachi. The iser of achas isha comes along and pushes off the zika from 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 Ruvain. So who are doing over here? The fact that he became a daka should go ahead and push off what the yibum from the brother who died. It's such a good kasha. You come up with a new terrace. That kasha destroys the terrace of that he was healthy and then he became injured. It says Ella Ella Lashon Karata. So again, back to the original question: If you're a sris and falling to you is, is a healthy woman, how light Rabbi Akiva should be like Chayve Krisis? No difference Chayve Lavan Chayve Krisis. I'm Rabbi Yosef. Hi Tana Hach Tana the Bay Rabbi Akiva. The Amar Mechayve Lavan the Sher Havi Mamzer Mechayve Long Great Loy Havi Mamzer. Now, if you have a Gemara that has it, I'll read you Gemara. It's a Daf Mem Tes. The, the Gemara in Daf Mem Tes went through. The machloik is exactly what is the mamzer. Says the Mishnah, Ezu mamzer, kol she'er basa, any relation of the flesh, shuhu b'lo yavoy, that's a lav. Div Rebbe Akiva. Shimon Timoni said, chayve karis, Rebbe Yitzhak said, chayve Mrs. Bezin. All I care about is Rebbe Akiva. There, can you tell me a difference between um, a, <laughs> someone who falls in front of you because they are a chayve lavim, Let's say it would be your father's Anusa. Your father forced himself on a woman, right? Never married her. And then she's, she's falling in front of you for Yibo. Could you be with that, be with that woman? Let Rebbe Kiva, it's Chayve Lavim. You can't be with that woman. You can't be with that woman. That woman is Asa to you, Asa Lav, Anusa Savit. If you would be with her, you wouldn't be Chayve Misa. But that's a Chayve Lav, guys, of the flesh. Good? Let's put Suadaka. In other words, we held in the Kasha a Karpan statement, all Chayve Lavim, like Rebbe Akiva, are Chayve Karis, right? All Chayve Lavim are Chayve Karis. We have an opinion over here, says the Gemara, Ul Rav Simoy, opposite to Taisis Rabbi Shu Oimer. Ul Rav Simoy, the Marbe She'er, Sha'ar Chay Lavim, the Sha'ar Chayve Lavim, the Lav the She'er, right? According to that, so that's the opinion of it, guys. That's the Teretz. Guys, outside, what's the Kasha? How could Rabbi, Eli, uh, Rabbi Akiva, who holds if the brother dies and his wife is falling in front of a Saris, that Saris is there should be, it should not be, be Zika, it should finish. And for the Gemara, Rabbi Akiva doesn't hold all Chayve Lavim in the category, only Sam. One that's She'er, one that comes as a result of, of an illicit union, like for example, a, a man with his father, with his, to be with his father's wife, his father's Anusa, his father's Anusa, but some a, a, a Pitsuadaka, which doesn't come about as a result of some type of illicit union, a, a, a union that would not be Chavi Lavin. The male of the Kasha is Nishkan Kasha. So let's see it inside. Ella, we help it turn back. Elam Rabbi Yosef, hi Tana, the Tana of our Mishnah. Is Hach Tana the Rebbe Akiva? Is the is the is Rab Simoy? Doma Mechayve Lavim the She'er Havi Mamzer. Only Chayve Mulev is is a Mamzer. Mechayve Lavim the Greater Loy Havi Mamzer. Okay, okay, okay. Let, uh, let's finish up. Ikri Khan Lahakim Laachim Shame. So Fred the Gemara Kasha. How why is the Saritz Chaylis right? Even if he had a Shasa Kaisha, meaning right now could he have a child? No. Once upon a time, could he have a child? Yes. What's the whole purpose of Yibum? So why, why does it help to do, do Yibum? It doesn't work. Right? Why does it help? So it says, I'm a Rava in Cain. If that's the case, meaning, the guy is dying. Could he have children beforehand? Yes. Right before he dies, he's, he can't have children. So if you're going to tell me that you don't take into account Shasa Kaisher, that means they'll never have a case of Yibam. Because he'll say, oh, second, second, at the time of his death, he can't be Mekayim the Mitzvah. So if you're going to say that Sfari, that you don't take into account Shasa Kaisha, you're going to create a problem for all, all, all Yibam. Okay. So it says the Gemara, L'Revi Akiva, L'Revi Eliezer, Piruka de Rabba Pirchihi. Rabba is terrorist that we're giving now, that any Yibam would fall, that's a big problem according to Rabbi Eliezer, because Rabbi Eliezer says, a Swiss Hamas has a refuah, and a, a person who is a, a Swiss Adam doesn't. 
doesn't have a four. So how, how, according to him, according to Rabbi Eliezer, right, who says, doesn't take into account Shasa Kaisha, because he says, guys, guys, Rabbi Eliezer holds a Swiss Adam, we don't care about Shasa Kaisha, correct? Only care about the ability for Rafua. But we see over here, Rav is Teretz, you have to take into Shasa Kaisha, or else you never have a case of Yivam. So that's Shver on Rabbi, on Rabbi Eliezer, who says, Swiss Adam not. I had a Shasa Kaisha, he doesn't care, but you see from Rabbis Teretz, and even you have to care about Shasa Kaisha. Says the Gemara, I say, El Rebbe Yezer, and I mission the Peruka, the Rabbi Perkahi. Says the Gemara, Hassam Kishusa, the Aschalabe. Of Iliawat, it's his Kishusha, his weakness that began. Rashi, Rashi explains, it's not a Swiss, it's just his weak, because why he is he's dying. So it's not a considered Swiss at all. Have a good one. Yeah. Svira.